Welcome back to another Two Minute Tech Day where we teach you how to use technology to enhance your classroom. Our goal is to teach you something that you can use to reach your students in two minutes or less, hopefully. Today we're gonna to learn some Facebook tips to help make your life a little easier. Let's get started. Let's start by creating a unit in your Facebook group. Find your group that you want to post to. On the Facebook homepage, click on Groups. To save time so you don't have to watch me scroll for an hour, I'm going to move to another tab where I have it ready to go. Click on your group. On the left side, if you aren't already in Units, click on Units. We already are. You may already have a unit there. You can click on it and add posts to it if you want. We are going to create a unit though, so click on Create Unit. Give it a name. You can do this by subject or by week. I'm going to be doing this by week, so parents can check here to see what they're doing in all subjects for that week, so they can stay organized. It's up to you to decide what's best for your students. Also, give it a description so your students know what to look for when they get into your unit. Now click Create Unit. There are a few things that you can do to post here. They are similar to doing a regular post, but organized in a different way to be suited for learning. Let's try out a few of the posts that you're going to be doing. Let's start with a regular post. Add a title to the top. Then describe or give directions on the post. I'm going to call this Photo and Video. The description will be Example on how to post a video and photo. I'm going to click on Add Media. I will locate the photo I will use from the folders where I saved them. I'm going to go to Desktop, the folder that I have it in, and then Lightbulb. Then I'm going to click Open. I'm also going to add a second media to this. This one's going to be a video. Uploading a video directly to Facebook is actually really good if you only plan on this one set of people seeing this video and it getting directly to them with no external links. If you have many groups that you want to see your video, I suggest uploading it to YouTube and then link to it here. I'm going to go find mine under Desktop, Video, and Screen Record. Then I'm going to click Open. This is how you directly upload a photo and a video to your students through Facebook. Now click Post. It will show up once the video is finished processing. You can also post a link here as well under Posts. Go to the URL in another tab that you want to use. Then select it and copy it. Now. Let's paste it into the Write Something section. Give it a title. Mine will be Tutorial Video Playlist. Then click Post and a link will be available for your students to view. It can actually be any website that you choose. Now let's try to upload a file. This is good for uploading things like Word documents or PDFs. I don't recommend sending Word files to your students since they most likely do not have that software to open it. PDFs may be alright to send, but not everyone can open those either. So we're going to click on the File tab. And we're going to write what your file is about. Mine is Parent Sites to Use with Your Children. Click Choose File, then Locate Your File. Mine's under Desktop my desktop folder and then I'm going to choose my PDF and now I'm going to click open now click post and it will be available for your students we're going to skip over create a quiz since it isn't something that we're focused on as a group now if you click on more you can create an event reminder for people in this group to meet on a certain day and time on Facebook I would use this to send push notifications to people to meet for a Zoom conference, but you can use it for whatever you want. Click on More and then Create Event. 
give it a name. Mine is zoom time. I'm going to give it a location of on zoom, but you can actually give it a physical one. We're going to go digital since we're all stuck at home. I'm going to describe this one as math team meeting on zoom. You can change the frequency to alert people once, but in my case, I'm going to do mine weekly. It's going to be on Mondays. And I'm going to do mine from 9 to 10. It's going to set up an event for about four weeks worth. The rest of the information should be great. Click create and it will take you to your events. Let's go back to our group. And let's take a look at our discussion page. This is posting on Facebook like normal. We can write something like normal. We can upload a photo and video or an album of photo and videos that we can continue to post to later. You can go live with your webcam on your Mac. And if you click on more here, you can add a file like we did before and even create an event like we did before. I have one last tip for you at the moment. Let's say you have a ton of Facebook groups and you want to keep track of them somehow. When you're already in a group like we are now, you can't see the names of groups when you hover over them. They can seem to get lost. So to combat that, let's pin them to our main page's shortcuts so we can hover over them to find them easier later. Let's pin this group to my shortcuts list. So while in a group, click on more under your banner. Go down to pin to shortcuts. Click it. Now go to your main page and find your shortcuts area. Have over your group in the list. Now they will give you the full name so that you can find the group you want to faster. It isn't perfect, but it does work. That was less than two minutes, right? Close enough. Well, that's all we have for you today. Thank you for stopping by. Be sure to check out our other videos where we teach you how to use tech tools to help you reach your students. Leave a comment down below on any other tools that you may want to learn in the future, and we can make a tutorial on how to use them. I'll see you in the next Tech Days tutorial.